Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. Today's topic is going to be codependency. Now this, I have a little different take on it, so I want you to stick around and see what my thoughts are on codependency. Uh, before we jump into it, remember, like, subscribe, share, all the good stuff to help me keep this channel going and to educate people on narcissism and all things with narcissistic abuse, how to look for the signs, how to become educated and be prepared and figure out what situation you're in. Okay guys, so the topic, like I said, is codependency. Now, we've all heard the word, uh, the term, and we have our, uh, we know what the definition means. Uh, so, what I'm saying is in the codependency narcissistic relationship. Now, you're, you being on this channel are an empath for sure. And you have been, uh, it's been portrayed that perhaps you're codependent. N not saying you are, but maybe, you know, maybe people look at you like you're codependent, you need somebody, you need someone to take care of and, and, and to give your love and affection and kindness and all that kind of stuff uh, for or to. And that may be true. But let's take a step back and, and let's take a look at the narcissistic relationship. Uh, I'm talking a romantic relationship um, with the empath, you, and the narcissist. Okay? Now, think about this for a minute. Before you met the narcissist, you had a great life, you, everything was going fine for you, I'm sure you're hardworking, kind, compassionate, giving, all the things that we talk about, that, all the characteristics that you have, which is why the narcissist um, searched for you and found you. But you were fine on your own. You, you, were, you were thriving, you were doing great. The, the version of you was probably incredible and, and just a, a very compassionate, loving person, and I'm sure you still are now. Think about this though, the narcissist, what do they need? Like how, what do they need to survive? That's right, they need supply, okay? So let's think about this. They need supply, which is the supply you gave them, or maybe you're still giving them, but they need supply, which means imagine a narcissist without other human beings. Like let's just pretend for a moment, you're, you're on a desert island, you are the empath, and of course that wouldn't be fun, but let's just say you're there for a couple days and you know, you, you would find a way to survive you, because you're an empath and you don't necessarily need all other people to, 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 uh, to be a parasite and to suck them dry. You don't need that because you can take care of yourself. You've gotten this far in life and you're an empath, which means you're kind and you're smart and you're educated and you're, you're loving. You're not taking from people. You're actually giving to people. Now let's take that same analogy on a desert island or isolated island, wherever it is, and it's the narcissist and they're alone, right? That means what? That's right, it means there's no supply there. So let's take that same two or three days and the narcissist is there by themselves. What do you think would happen? Exactly, it, exactly. They would be out of their minds because there's no one there to feed their ego and to give them supply and to give them reassurance. There's nobody there to belittle or to put them down or to have rage fits or gaslighting or all those terms. The point being, it's the narcissist that is codependent. And I stand by this. Again, guys, listen. We as empaths and as survivors of this and now thrivers of the narcissistic abusive cycle, we are portrayed, and it's up to you to, 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 to identify as you see fit. <coughs> Pardon me. But a lot of times we're portrayed like the weaker of the two, of the narcissist and the empath. The empath is portrayed as being weaker. I really don't know why. Probably because, uh, I'm thinking right now as we talk, as I talk, probably because in the vicious cycle of the narcissistic abusive relationship, the empath is the one that pays the price because the empath has all the feelings, emotions, and it's the empath that actually suffers because they go through all of this, um, all the difficulty, let's say, of the, uh, of the discard or of the ending of the relationship, no matter who did it. Because think about it, the empath feels and the empath has love and an open heart and, and is just giving. The narcissist is the antithesis of that. They don't, they don't know how to love, they have very little empathy, and. They just move on. They just literally move on because they want the next supply, source of supply. So it is not the empath that is codependent necessarily. 
It is, in fact, the narcissist. Because using my analogy, and if you really think about it, I'm right. The narcissist needs supply. They needed you when you were in the relationship, or if you still are. Believe me, they're thinking about you in some capacity. And then once the discard happens, or once that relationship is over, they're on to the next source of supply. And then, you know, they just keep doing this over and over and over again. Never finding true love, never finding happiness. And most importantly, never finding what they're looking for. They are in a perpetual search for something they will never find. And you know what, to make you, just to give you, I'm kind of getting off topic, but when they were with you, you were the perfect solution. You were the empath. You were the one that bent over backwards for them and made their lives better and helped them and guided them and, and was, was there for them. And I'm sorry, you guys, but I'm sure that they took that and just threw it in the trash. That's what they did with me. And it took me months to recover from this. I'm healed now, healing. <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> but that's what they do. So the, it's the narcissist that is codependent. And if you really take a moment, process it, it is. They can't survive by themselves. They, they can't do it. They need validation. They need support. They need people to, to give them uh, supply. They need people. Now, I'm not saying the empath doesn't need people. I'm not saying that. We all need people, of course. But uh, let's put it this way. The narcissist is clearly codependent. And without the empath or sources of supply, the narcissist is in for a rude awakening. That's a fact. So, guys, I hope you like this topic. It's a quick one today. I'm going to do another video later. I love you all. God bless you. Remember, like, subscribe, share, all the good stuff. And for all the mothers out there, happy Mother's Day. I love you. Moms are the greatest things on the planet. Uh, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Have a great morning slash afternoon. And uh, you are not alone. I hope this video finds you well. You are not alone. Uh, I love you guys. Bye.